Welcome to the virtual college fair for North Hunterdon High School. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use your Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the pre presenters cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website. And now I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter from Rutgers University, the State University of New Jersey, New Brunswick campus. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm just going to get my PowerPoint set up, okay. So thank you for the introduction. Um, my name is Alicia Shah. I am the admissions officer um, from Rutgers University in New Brunswick, New Jersey. We are the main campus. Um, we're about, I would say a half hour, 40 minutes um, from the North Hunterdon High School area. And I'm gonna be giving a quick presentation on uh, Rutgers University. So Rutgers is part of the, the Big Ten. And not only does that mean that we are part of the Big Ten for athletics, but we're also part of Big Ten for academics. So we have a library sharing um, program and that's actually coming in really handy right now. Uh, this semester for all the students that are online, they're able to do, um, they're able to share content with all of the Big Ten institutions. But not only are we part of the Big Ten, um, we are number 22 public school in the nation, number 41 of 18,000 universities worldwide. Um, and we have the US News and World Report rankings just came out and we are number 63 this year. And we are number three in the nation for studying uh, the health professions. So New Brunswick, I'm sure a lot of you have been to the campus or have been around the area. We are in a great location. New Brunswick is actually nicknamed the hub city because it is close to a lot of other large cities. So we're about 45 minutes from New York City, 90 minutes from Philadelphia, three hours from Baltimore, four hours from DC, five hours from Boston. And what this really means is that there's a lot of opportunities for students to get involved in internships and co-ops. Um, during the fall and spring semesters, there's also a lot of businesses that are headquartered in New Brunswick, like Johnson & Johnson, where students can get internships and co-ops at. So to the next slide, uh, the New Brunswick campus is divided up into five smaller areas. I don't really like calling them campuses because it kind of confuses it with the Camden and Newark campuses, but different areas of the New Brunswick campus. So we have, uh, starting on the top left, the Bush campus, that's where the football stadium is and the science majors like uh, pharmacy and the School of Engineering. Livingston, that's where you'll find Rutgers Business School. College Ave is more of our downtown um, campus where the School of Arts and Sciences is housed. Uh, and then uh, going south, you'll have Douglas, which was our women's campus, and Cook Campus, which is now uh, renamed to School of Environmental and Biological Sciences. And we actually have our own farm on campus that the agricultural students and animal science students do um, take care of. So if you are interested in environmental science or agricultural science or animal science, definitely um, check out the School of Environmental and Biological Sciences when we're able to have students on uh, campus again to take a tour. Okay, so student life, we are missing this very much right now. We have 36,000 undergraduate student um, population. We are the most diverse in the Big Ten, 24 NCAA Division I sports. So, you know, historically we would be in the uh, starting off our football season. I believe it's going to uh, be underway about this time next month. So we'll see what Coach Ciano has in store for uh, the school and our team this year. We have over 600 student organizations, 80 plus fraternities and sororities, and a lot of philanthropic uh, opportunities. Um, the bottom picture with all the confetti is Dance Marathon, and that's one of the biggest student-run um, events on campus. 
And over, last year they raised over a million dollars and that benefits uh, children who have blood disorders and cancer. So within uh, Rutgers, New Brunswick, we have uh, seven first year schools, School of Arts and Sciences, Ernest Mario School of Pharmacy, School of Engineering, Business School, Mason Grove School of the Arts, School of Environmental and Biological Sciences, and School of Nursing. When you go to fill out the application, you can apply up to three schools, and there are all the schools in red. The upper division schools, which are in white, they are the schools that you would apply for admission into um, after you've been enrolled in one of the schools in red. So if you wanted to pursue um, the School of Communication Information, you would first want to apply for School of Arts and Sciences and enroll in there as a first year student, and then you can apply for admission in the School of Communication and Information. So learning at Rutgers, we have a very individualized experience, even though we have over 36,000 undergraduate students. Um, we do have a 16-1 a student to faculty ratio. We have 175 research centers on campus. And uh, another great thing about what Rutgers offers students is that we have two mega career and internship fairs every year. We actually just had our online one last week where we did have a lot of uh, employers present. So that is something that students look forward to every year. And it's open to all of the undergraduate and graduate students in New Brunswick. So here are just a few more nostalgic pictures um, of campus. One day, the stadium will look like that again. Uh, the far right was at graduation with the Scarlet Knight. Oops, sorry. And then real quick for applying, um, we have early action. It's non-binding. That due date is November 1st. Uh, the application due date is December 1st. And um, as long as you want to be considered by, for a scholarship, you have to get your application in by December 1st. And that is it. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Monmouth University. Hi everyone, my name is Liz Gensmer. My pronouns are she and her, and I'm Assistant Director of Undergraduate Admission at Monmouth University. Uh, so I'm just going to see if I can share my screen. Okay, great. Um, so just a little bit about me. I am the admission representative for Hunterdon County. Um, I grew up not too far away from Hunterdon County. My parents are up kind of on the edge of Warren County. Um, and I'm from a Monmouth University family. Two of my brothers earned their uh, Bachelor of Science, both respectively in business administration. Um, and I'm currently pursuing uh, my master's with Monmouth. And uh, I've been working in the admission office for about three years now. So gonna give you a, a rapid fire uh, little presentation here. So first of all, we are a mid-sized private university, a little over an hour drive from North Hunterdon High School, located on the Jersey Shore. So I am currently in my uh, home, in my living room in Belmar, New Jersey, just a block from the beach, pretty close to campus. Um, and I apologize if my chihuahua barks at all during these six minutes. Um, so we are, are on the mid-size of a student body or about 4,500 undergraduate students, but we have big school spirit, 23 division one athletic teams, similar to um, my colleague from Rutgers. You know, unfortunately we are, are not all um, going to be on campus for homecoming and for all of the athletic games that we typically are during the fall semester. Um, although we are so partially on campus this fall. So um, we are currently offering on campus tours in very limited groups and uh, with social distancing protocol in place. If you are interested in coming to take a tour of campus on a weekday or also on weekends. Um, you're required to wear a mask. The tours are mostly outdoors, um, but our students are still, our student ambassadors, tour guides are um, really excited to be back on campus and connecting with prospective Monmouth Hawks. So as you can see on my screen, uh, we are the Monmouth Hawks and our motto is that Monmouth Hawks fly together. We are a really tightly knit community of Hawks. Uh, we are located as I said, just a mile from uh, the beach. The campus is in West Long Branch, New Jersey. Uh, we're not too far away from Asbury Park and we're only about an hour train ride from New York. Uh, similarly, we're just a little over an hour 
from Philadelphia. So our location is really great for so many things to do in the community in terms of our music industry students, tape recording classes at Lake House Studio in Asbury Park, our communication students have so many opportunities uh, and business students for internships, as I said, in New York, Philadelphia, Washington, DC, um, and there is so much activity. You can see a student from our surf club uh, who uh, is surfing in West Long Bridge. And so our location really lends itself to the internship opportunities uh, that our students take advantage of. Every student in every major, whether it be business, education, social work, nursing, health sciences, biology, chemistry, medical lab science, uh, the communications, the humanities, psychology, every undergraduate major is required to complete an experiential education component to their curriculum. So for most students, this is going to be in the form of an internship or a clinical experience, while others choose to take advantage of study abroad uh, or get involved in faculty research. So things like the Urban Coast Institute, which is a center for research, which is housed on our campus, those students, the marine and environmental biology and policy students are conducting research as early as the freshman year, getting involved in our summer research programs. They're tagging sharks, uh, they're launching submarines into coastal waters and tracking uh, hurricane patterns. And our business students are, as I said, completing internships. They are trading live through Hawk Capital, through our uh, financial markets lab, trading on Bloomberg software. We have over 100 student clubs and organizations in a vast array of areas. As I said, the Surf Club, we are very much a, co a suburban coastal campus, but then also things like the student radio station. Uh, Princeton Review just named our uh, radio station in the top 20 of student radio stations in the country. 23 Division I athletic teams. We have uh, renowned names in terms of alumni such as all pro wide receiver Miles Austin who's also on our board of trustees now uh, as well as Chrissy Pierce Rampone uh, women's soccer gold medalist and then we also have club sports and intramurals as well so we have both options in terms of school spirit and involvement if you really want to continue staying active uh, and playing your sport even if you are not necessarily looking to go D1. I mentioned we do offer several study abroad options. We do have uh, global service learning opportunities during the breaks, as well as six countries where students can spend a traditional semester abroad. This is the centerpiece of our campus, the Great Hall. Uh, you may recognize it if you've ever seen the uh, 1982 film, Annie. This is Daddy Warbucks Mansion is on our campus. It is a historic landmark building. Uh, and it is, you might have an English class here, the admission office is here. So if you do come to our campus, you'll be checking in with us right outside of the Great Hall. Uh, our faculty are a huge part of the student experience at Monmouth. As I, I think I said, or if I haven't said it, I'll say it now, we have a 12 to one student to faculty ratio. And all of our classes are small. The average class size is 21, all of our classes cap at 35, which means our faculty, your faculty, really get to know you on a personalized first name basis. Uh, we have 78% um, of our students complete internship or co-op, 95% of our students uh, are fully in, uh, employed or pursuing graduate school within nine months of graduation. And I should just jump ahead to maybe the most uh, useful slide in terms of infographics. Average class size 21, 12 to one student to faculty ratio, uh, just about 4,400 undergraduate students. Our deadlines are, we, do, we are offering early decision this year, which is binding, that is November 15th. We also offer non-binding early action, December 15th. And we are test optional for the fall of 2021. Uh, this is new for us. So thank you so much. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from SUNY Potsdam. Hey guys, uh, John Lewis here. I'm an admissions counselor with SUNY Potsdam. We're a state university located in upstate New York. Uh, so I have a brief slide to share with everyone here.
So welcome. Uh, this is actually an overview of our campus. Uh, we're up by the Adirondack Mountains. So if anybody's ever ventured up here, uh, I have a lot of family in New Jersey. So we, we always uh, joke about coming up and enjoying uh, Saranac Lake, Lake Placid, Lake George area. So that's kind of gives you an idea where we are. This is a little screenshot of our campus overlooking Racket River in the background right behind our campus. Um, Satterley Hall known as the Clock Tower. Um, and we're actually one of the oldest in the SUNY family, uh, over 200 years old. So pretty exciting there. Uh, this gives you a little brief map of where our destination is. So again, we're by the Lake Placid area, straight, straight north. Uh, drive time, I'm gonna probably peg it at around six hours uh, to get to us. So uh, it's within reason, uh, always an exciting road trip on the way up. Um, now some cool history and facts about our campus. Uh, again, we're one of the smallest and oldest four-year colleges in the SUNY State University system. We have roughly 3,500 undergraduate students, so we say we're more of a boutique style, very personalized learning for everyone. We have an 11 to 1 student faculty ratio, so again, very personalized. We do have the number one rated food in the State University system, so there are 64 uh, campuses in our family, so uh, we do have the number one title on that. Uh, we have over 400 fine arts events and performances a year. So part of us is actually the Crane School of Music is encompassed within us. Uh, so that is if you're interested in being a music ed, uh, you know, person uh, to study uh, that or music performance, music business uh, is all comprehensive with that program. Uh, we also have 17 intercollegiate sports teams on our campus, four colleges within a 10 mile radius. So it is not just us here, it is SUNY Canton, St. Lawrence University, and also Clarkson University. So it really makes for a dynamic atmosphere for college students uh, to, to really feel at home. Um, and again, we're just outside the beautiful Adirondack Mountains, just on the northern stretch of them. So that's some exciting things about us here. Now, talking about that food, um, we have nine separate eateries on the campus. We have cafes, delis, uh, traditional American, uh, Pan-Asian wok, foods from Greece, North Africa, uh, Spain, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free options for everyone. We even have a Starbucks on campus and a Tim Hortons on campus, uh, just in case you need that caffeine break. And uh, that's one of our uh, chefs on campus in uh, Dexter's Cafe. Now, our academic opportunities. We have over 54 majors and 60 minors. We have three schools. Again, we mentioned Crane really quickly with music, our School of Arts and Sciences, and our School of Education and Professional Studies. Uh, we also have the Lowheat Center for Applied Learning, where we can do internships and service learning, student research, uh, student fellowships, study abroad. If you're thinking of going to Barcelona, Spain for uh, some credits in Spanish, absolutely. We have a career services office where they'll do resume building skills uh, with you, mock interviews, job training. So that's part of that. We even have a law enforcement training institute, uh, police academy on our campus as well, if you're thinking crim justice, which we have that program. Uh, and we also have a robust library system at the same time. What about involvement on campus? We have over 100 clubs and organizations. So if we don't have something, you can actually create it. We have an anthropology club, an Air Force ROTC, uh, Black Student Alliance, Cheerleading, Gender and Sexuality Alliance, Rugby, Acapella Groups, Ultimate Frisbee, Ultimate Gamers. Uh, we even have a Harry Potter Quidditch club. We even have my all-time favorite group, Stitch and Bitch. They knit, crochet, and complain about life. So that's just some of the cool things going on in terms of clubs and organizations. Uh, we even have workshops, concerts, trips, athletic events. Uh, we are only an hour and a half, surprisingly, to Montreal and to Ottawa, capital of Canada. So a lot of our students love the excursions and the trips up there. Uh, it's a great way to see a new experience with a new country uh, and only a half hour to the Canadian border from our campus. We do have D3 athletic opportunities as well as intramural and club sports. So anything from soccer, basketball, lacrosse, ice hockey, um, track. So anything that you're thinking of, we have a lot of those teams to get involved with. We even have an indoor climbing wall, uh, an ice arena, an indoor pool, and a state-of-the-art fitness center. These things are all free to use as a student. Now, how do you apply to SUNY Potsdam? We use either the Common App or we have something called the SUNY application for state universities. We do have rolling admissions here. So that means uh, as soon as you apply, we get a decision out to you. Uh, once everything is received, application fee is $50. Uh, all we need is an official high school transcript, your essay, one little recommendation from a teacher or counselor. So that's just, again, standard things for your application. And uh, we have a portal we set up as well. So you can check your application status, your enrollment. 
uh, to make things really easy for families and students. Academic review, what are we looking for? Uh, overall six semester GPA, average accepted student GPA currently is around an 88. Uh, but again, we look for everything. We also take in AP, IB, CLEP, and college credits. Uh, we are unlimited on that. So if you earn upwards of 30 college credits, we will accept that. Uh, so that is something that we work towards with students, three or better on your AP exams. Um, so that's there. And uh, pretty much uh, scholarships. We have very generous opportunities there. Uh, so definitely check those out. And uh, we've had up to $7,500 in scholarships for out-of-state students. And that's our tuition cost for out-of-state and in-state. Just some famous alumni <laughs> uh, that attended. Uh, Renee Fleming, the opera singer. Lisa Roman was on Broadway at, in Phantom. Uh, State Senator David Valesky, many more. And just some cool social media point outs here uh, to check us out. And anytime you want to uh, visit us, we have a, uh, live uh, families that can actually come up right now and uh, check out the campus. We are taking folks for visits. So definitely uh, check us out. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Savannah College of Art and Design. Hey, good evening, everybody. So I'm just going to do the famous sharing of my screen now, always the most exciting part of a Zoom meeting. So at the Savannah College of Art and Design, we are actually the most diverse art and design university in the nation with over 100 different degree programs. So everything from animation to architecture, interior design, industrial design, film, fashion, photography, everything that you love to do for fun translates into a major and then of course into a really awesome career. So I know some of you might be on the fence about the arts, especially you parents, um, but the whole concept of the starving artist living in a basement until you're 80 doing a painting is not real, unless you want to do that. People can totally do that and make a great living. But we have had incredible students work for everybody from Disney, Marvel, Pixar, Universal, to Google, IBM. We actually have several students who work for NASA and a couple of graphic designers who work for the CIA. So really with a career in art and design, anything is possible. And as I said, we've got about a hundred different degree programs. Everybody technically comes in undecided. So you have that first year to play around with our programs and see what it is that you're really great at or that you're really passionate about. Or if there's something that you're not sure how to do it, you have all of these incredible students there to help you make an even more incredible project or an even more incredible career. And this is again, more examples of our student work. We are nationally and internationally ranked for a lot of our different programs. Our motion media program was rated number one by the rookies, which is like the Oscar for creative things. Uh, our animation program is nationally recognized. We are the third largest provider of animators to Pixar. Uh, our game design program regularly has students going to Nintendo, Blizzard, Naughty Dog. So some of these companies that, you know, you've dreamed about, you can actually work for them. And again, a couple of different examples of student work that are not necessarily art jobs you would think of. Uh, our industrial design program is very similar to engineering, but a bit more creative. Uh, so we actually design cars and yachts. We actually work with a company that helps to design private jets. We do have a number of international students. About 26% of our students are international. And these last two images were of water purification systems that they have developed so that they could create more easily accessible palatable water in their countries. And again, these are jobs in art and design. So we do have a painting major, of course, and illustration, but you can really be building the future of the world with a degree like industrial design or even architecture. And the most important thing about SCAD is we do have a 99% employment rate. So 99% of our 2019 graduating class was employed seeking further education or both within 10 months of graduating and 91% of that was purely in creative fields. And just some examples of our famous alums. If any of you guys have seen the VMAs, you actually have seen Lady Gaga wearing a Christopher John Rogers. He is an incredible fashion alum who actually won like 
a $400,000 competition in Europe. So really pretty incredible. And his whole team is of diverse SCAD grads from all different majors. We have tons of alums who work for Google doing things like user experience design, which would be like creating apps. We have programs where companies actually hire SCAD to solve real world problems. So we've done tons of different projects with, uh, of course, again, Google. We've developed an entire curriculum with L'Oreal. So all these incredible companies you can work for not only as internships, but within a class at SCAD. We do have several campuses. We have Atlanta, Georgia, which is a huge and awesome urban environment. It's one of the largest filming locations in the world. So if you would like to work for Marvel, Netflix, Turner Broadcasting, uh, Tyler Perry has a studio here. So if you would like to be in front of or behind the camera, check out Atlanta. Lacoste is our study abroad in the south of France, which is basically out of a Disney movie. Uh, so this can be your study abroad option. There is a little castle at the top of the hill there and we take you to Paris for a week while you're here. Savannah is of course our largest campus. Uh, most of our students are housed here. We have about 9,000 students here, three to 4,000 in Atlanta and then the rest are spread out through e-learning and Lacoste. Savannah is adorable and charming. For those of us here in the Northeast, it's kind of Greenwich Village mixed with Hoboken, um, but less stressful. <laughs> uh, there are parks all over Savannah and we're about a half hour from the beach. We do also have a very robust e-learning program, so you can get a number of our degrees from anywhere in the world. We also offer a pre-college program so students can earn college credits uh, before they actually graduate. We are also offering daily tours, both on ground again and virtually. So you can meet up with different representatives uh, virtually. You can tour our campus. We're always happy to connect. Really quick with the application process, most important, we are rolling admission. So there are no deadlines, which is always nice. The initial application is only about 10 minutes. People have done it on their phone. It's your name and address. Once you submit that, you get an advisor that will walk you through the rest of the process and make this as stress-free as possible. We also do not need your portfolio right away. So don't stress about, you know, waiting to apply until you have your portfolio. So if you guys do have any questions, I actually live up here in New Jersey. So I'd be happy to meet with you virtually or when everything is safe and normal again, meet you in person. But whatever you need, we're here to help. And you'll always have a number of people at SCAD to make sure that you're on the right track. So thank you guys. Thank you. Next we'll be hearing from Cutstown University. Hi everybody. Give me one second here. I'm gonna get my slide up. All right, I think we're good. All right, so I am from Kutztown University. My name is Kayla Hudak. I am one of the um, newer additions to the counseling team here um, because I actually just recently graduated from Kutztown in 2018 with my um, industrial organizational psychology degree. I loved Kutztown so much that I decided to um, stick around with for my master's. So I, I actually am three classes away from my master's in higher education, student affairs administration. And I was so lucky about a year ago to get hired as a full-time employee here on the admissions team. Before I get into all things Kutztown, it is so, so important to me to kind of um, let you all know who I am and how important Kutztown is to me and my family actually in that photo. It is um, me and my three younger brothers. I know they look older than me, but they are actually younger than me. Um, this is important for me to share because I am a first generation college student. So I um, had no idea what I was doing back in 2013 when I was going through this process. And it ended up being that I paved the way for my younger brothers and they all ended up at Kutztown. So I always say my first three recruits were my younger brothers. Um, they all have a lot going on um, in different ways. So even though we're all here 
um, as part of the Golden Bear family, they are still kind of all doing their own things. Um, my brother, Braden, to the left of me, was actually student body president here, homecoming king, a member of the LGBTQ community. He did a lot here for um, unity and advocating for those populations, so I'm super proud of him. Um, and then my two younger brothers are actually current students here. And then that is my dog, Benson, who was able to visit the office last Friday because I had a half day. So. Um, really a golden bear family and i share my family story all the time because i think that we are pretty much a primary example of what it really does mean to be a golden bear um, in terms of geographic location we are located in southeastern pennsylvania so the best way to describe where we're located is a small hometown bubble that's right in between allentown and reading so we are um, south of allentown north of reading we're about an hour from philly uh, depending on where you live in New Jersey, New York, it could be anywhere between an hour and 20 minutes to two hours. Um, so not too far away. And I always say that when you're here on this campus, you have to see it for yourself, but it truly is um, a beautiful campus. There's a lot of green. Um, the way campus is set up is in a very um, kind of flow type of way. Downtown is connected right up to campus. Um, and in terms of academic areas, um, I want to make sure I hit on everything. Um, we are known for a lot here at Kutztown. Historically, we're technically known for our education programs. Um, we certify a lot, a lot of Pennsylvania teachers specifically, but of course it's not just unique to Pennsylvania. We do attract out-of-state students as well, specifically New Jersey, New York, um, specifically because of the reputation of those education degrees, but also because of our cost. Um, I'll get into that in a minute, but you're looking at around $25,000 per year um, to be a student at Kutztown. And I am super proud to stand um, beside those numbers. Um, we have an incredibly affordable tuition for out-of-state students, um, which is oftentimes my biggest um, kind of thing that I talk about when I'm my meeting with my out-of-state students. Um, but like I was saying, we have a lot going on in a good way, historically known for teaching, um, our College of Business is AACSB accredited. Um, leaving here with a Bachelor of Business Administration, you're able to pick your multiple focuses and minors, things like that. Um, our Arts College is becoming increasingly more reputable over the years. Everything from communication design, graphic design, studio art, our, our education, um, our arts building is beautiful. Um, so our art students really do have the um, studio, studio equipment, I guess you could say, and places to work and do those things. Um, our liberal arts and sciences college is our biggest college housing the most amount of majors. So everything from bio pre-med to bio allied health careers, psychology. I'm obviously biased towards the psychology program because I am an alumni of that program and I truthfully to this day stand by the fact that that program set me up with this, this foundation to be in higher education and counseling college students not only in a higher ed, higher ed admissions sense of things but also career development counseling, mental health counseling, um, things like that. So a lot going on, really something for everybody here at Kutztown at an affordable cost and not too far away from where you live. Um, so definitely keep us in mind for that. Um, moving in a little bit here to some other things such as our cost, like I was saying, you're looking at around $25,000 um, for out of state. So not too shabby, keep us in mind for that, definitely. Um, and in terms of the um, kind of community knit life here at Kutztown, we really, really are a community knit campus. I always, I say all the time, it's a, it's a hometown atmosphere here. So over 250 opportunities for you to get involved in things. Um, our, our students get involved all the time. Um, and lastly, I should just mention we are a middle-sized institution. So we do have around 8,300 students, including our graduate student population. Definitely getting that college experience, but um, not drowning in a sea of people by any means. Um, so, you know, depending on what type of college experience you're looking for, um, keep us in mind for that. Class sizes are around 24. Um, so again, you're getting that individualized attention. Um, and I'll just wrap it up by saying we are rolling admissions. So no deadlines, you can apply whenever to us. 
and thank you. Thank you. And lastly, we'll be hearing from Slippery Rock University of Pennsylvania. Hi everyone, you almost made it through. I'm the last presenter, so thanks for sticking with me. My name is Sierra Bell. I'm an admissions coordinator at Slippery Rock University, which is in Western Pennsylvania, and I'm excited to be able to share my university with you. Slippery Rock is a public university. It's a part of the state system of higher education. We are about one hour north of Pittsburgh. So we're in a smaller town. The town is actually called Slippery Rock. Um, so if you're looking for a smaller town but a big campus feel, we have about 660 acres on campus. So everything from Starbucks to a planetarium to um, horses on campus as well. Our total enrollment is about 8,800 students with about 7,500 students as undergraduate majors and um, or undergraduate studies rather. There's a smaller classroom size there so you're able to really network with your professors, speak with your professors and talk to them about your career goals. They know your name. There are only about 25 students on average in a class and about 30 in a laboratory. Um, so we get a lot of support from our local community since we're a smaller town. And we have about 160 clubs and organizations so that you're not bored. We have everything from Harry Potter Club as well, um, to video gaming club, to division two sports. So there's 10 for women and seven for men. There are sports scholarships, but that would go directly through the coach, not through the admissions department as well. And then we have club sports, intramural sports as well. I would like to point out that we are also offering on-campus visits. So in case you've never been to campus before and you would like to come to campus, we are doing Saturday visits and um, some open houses that are virtual. And then we're doing some weekday visits where you're able to actually meet with a counselor and a rock pride guide so that you're on campus and able to see what that's about, okay? We're about two hours from Cleveland as well and about three hours from Niagara Falls, Canada. And so these are just some of our programs, um, our popular programs, some things that make us unique, and then some of our newer majors. We have 150 different programs, so I would encourage you to check out our website to see if we have what you're looking for. And we've partnered a lot of them with our graduate programs. So what's nice is that if you already know what you would like to do or be, then we can partner your undergraduate program with a graduate program at a little bit of an accelerated rate. So we have um, specific pre-professional tracks that you can look into as well. Our most popular one is going to be exercise science with our doctorate of physical therapy degree. So in six years, you're able to complete both your undergraduate and your doctoral level programs um, and graduate faster and have less undergraduate debt. Our largest college is going to be the College of Health, Engineering, and Science, but we also have business education and liberal arts as well as an honors college. So if you are interested in um, honors courses, which are more in-depth courses, a lot of study abroad opportunities, some conferences where they pay for a lot of your travel, um, you graduate with a big medallion, and there's also scholarship opportunities, I would recommend that you check out our honors college if that's something that you would be interested in. The cost to attend our school, it's not um, as striking as you would think for an out-of-state student. So here you see a PA resident. Our tuition has remained flat for the past two years. So it's about $7,716 currently for tuition plus adding on the fees. And what you'll see here with PA residents is that um, we take that tuition rate and for an out-of-state student, it's about 200%. So this third column over here. And that's if you have a 3.0 GPA. If you have, or less, I'm sorry, less than a 3.0 GPA. If you have higher than a 3.0 GPA, then you would actually have 150% of um, the tuition fees that you would be paying based on our PA resident rates. So you're paying at about 150%. Okay, so that would bring you to the second column. And then the differences would be in residential suites, which are more of an apartment style living on campus, where your bathroom's inside of the apartment suite, or your traditional halls, where you're going to have your restroom outside of your actual 
um, living area. Okay, so you see there's about a $3,000 difference there. This does include food, so there's a meal plan, and if you aren't interested in the 12 meals a week with the $445 of flex, which is like a prepaid visa card, you can change that, but we do include meal plan there as well. And what you'll see is that the tuition and fees, along with room and board for an out-of-state student with a 3.0 GPA, is about $700 um, less or $700 more rather than a PA resident in a residential suite. So we can get pretty close if you're looking at the housing costs and choosing a traditional hall, you would get pretty close to what a PA resident would be paying. We do have scholarship opportunities for um, our students. So we have merit scholarships and we have achievement scholarships. Um, if you would like to be considered for those, you do need to have your application in by December 1st. The nice thing is we also have out-of-state scholarships as well. And we saw an increase in our out-of-state students last year. So this year the president awarded us more out-of-state scholarship money. So we're really excited to be able to offer this to students, but in order to do, to do that, you would have to apply by December 1st and be admitted with all of your transcripts, your $30 fee, and your online application. The transcripts do need to be sent to either myself, which you'll see my contact information there, or to ask the rock at sru.edu. And the nice thing is this year we're also test optional. So in case you weren't able to sit for your SAT or ACT this year, um, you don't have to worry about it. You can still be considered for those scholarships without it as well, okay? Um, if you would like to apply or if you have any questions about scholarships, visits, majors, or anything in general about the university that we weren't able to cover in these six minutes, please feel free to reach out to me directly. Again, my name is Sierra Bell, and I thank you for attending this presentation. Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, when you close this window, there will be a link to a quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Also, this is just one of many sessions being posted, so be sure to check out the full schedule. In about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session's recordings at the same website. Thank you all. Bye now.